Teen porn. Why it's worse for your brain. I'm Dr. Trish Lee, cognitive neuroscientist and sex addiction recovery coach. All right, in this video, we're going to break down watching teenage porn, why it is worse for you, what trouble it can lead you to, and what you can do instead. That's your brain tip strategy for today. So stay with me until the end of this video and implement it. It could possibly save your life. Okay, number one, teen porn. Why is it worse for you and your brain? Well, let's start with your brain. When you consume pornography in the first place, we know that it's what's called a super normal stimulus. And what that means is it is jacking up your brain on all this high levels of dopamine. Dopamine is the pleasure seeking neurotransmitter. So what it does is it makes you come back for more of what you are consuming to get this high, high level of dopamine. So when you watch teen porn, teen porn is this perfect, I call it a friction point, of anxiety and arousal. And so what it does is it really increases the dopamine level and the cortisol level. You're kind of stressed out but excited at the same time, and it gives your brain this rush. And what happens in the mix is oxytocin, the neurotransmitter that couples your brain, it's supposed to couple your brain to your sexual partner, inadvertently, it's coupling your brain to teenagers. Now, if you are a teenager, that's one thing. But as you keep consuming pornography, and when I say one thing, I don't mean it's necessarily a good thing to couple your brain to a teenager on the screen. But, and I want to remind you that there's only two legal years of pornography in the teen years. And the reason I'm making this video is because we know from the statistics, teen porn is basically one of the top search types of porn. And so it's not just teenagers who are watching teenagers and you're very much at risk for watching underage people on porn sites. And that's going to lead us to number two. But let me finish the thought on you are coupling your brain to teenagers. So when you're a teen, that's one thing because that's age appropriate. But as you age and you keep consuming teenagers, that becomes a problem because that's not how aging works. So before high speed Internet pornography existed, you wouldn't be able to watch tons of teenagers performing sexual acts that do not happen in the real world with healthy women because healthy women don't want the stuff you see in teen porn. Neither do the teenagers that are performing it, honestly. But again, discussion for a different day. So you've coupled your brain to teenagers. So now you're 25, now you're 35, now you're 45, now you're 55, now you're 65, and your brain is coupled to teenagers. That's a problem because if you have a partner and your partner goes from 25 to 35 to 45 to 55, you're no longer interested in your partner if you continue to couple your brain to the screen. So you have to come out of the screen so your brain can unwire that pattern of coupling to inappropriately aged partners. And if you don't, guess who suffers in the end? Yes, your partner, but you. Because we know from the science you find your partner less attractive, you want don't want to be with your partner, and now you're coupled to masturbation, sex by yourself, viewing very much younger people, which is just not appropriate. So porn has sucked you into that. It's hijacked your brain to keep watching children as you grow into adulthood. So I'm here to tell you, if you're watching teen porn, you really need to stop so that you can uncouple your brain, couple your brain to an age-appropriate partner in the world, and yes, that has a bandwidth. I'm not, I'm not proclaiming that you can't be with younger people. I'm proclaiming that you need to establish real, healthy sexuality in the real world with a partner that feasibly could be your partner, not a partner who's younger than your own children. So think about it. I work with people young and old that become completely disgusted at the porn that they are consuming. Of course, they're aroused by it and it's exciting, but at the same time, they realize this is not cool. 
Now, number two, I want to tell you what it does to you. It makes it so that you continue to seek pleasure through young people. Sexual pleasure, it leads to the objectification of young women, teenagers in the world. So now you're standing in line at the grocery store and there's a 14-year-old in yoga pants and you can't take your eyes off of her. And actually, I posted a picture of me and my 11-year-old daughter and I saw comments that I think YouTube took down because I went back in to respond saying, you know, what they thought the thumbnail title might be because of me and my 11-year-old. If you're sexualizing an 11-year-old, that can lead to you going to prison. If you don't believe me, put kitty porn in the news into your Google search every day and you will see the number of people who are being busted for kitty porn who don't know that their IP address is being tracked because this is next level stuff. So if you're watching young people in porn, it's time to stop. This isn't me, you know, holy rolling. This is me telling you it's damaging your brain to the level that you've become desensitized that you need to watch very young people and it will show up in your world. Okay, so number three, what to do instead. Instead, uncouple your brain from the screen. So you have to break that link, that oxytocin and that dopamine deluge that you get from the screen from watching young people. And instead, get coupling your brain to your partner again. Think about the sex that you can have with your partner if you're not. I know that people will use the excuse that if my my wife would have more sex with me, then I don't need to go into the screen or, you know, I can't find a partner. If you put all the time and energy you put into watching teen porn into building a relationship with a real teenager, if you are a teenager, or two, coupling your brain back to your partner and talking to your partner about sex and saying, I really want to, you know, steam things up here a little bit. What do you find enjoyable? This is what I like, and you have to make sure it's appropriate, not, you know, colored by porn. If you need to get a sex therapist to help you, do it. Life's too short to be masturbating to teen porn. You deserve more than that. And I want you to know it's coloring your view of teenagers in the world, and it can go south quickly. It can lead to legal problems. It can lead to big problems in your life. I do not want that for you. Time to come out of the screen. Get on purpose in your life in your work, especially with your honey, and in your hobbies, because you deserve it. All right, if you're looking for help in that journey, drtrishlee.com. I'd love to help. And until next time, control your brain, or it'll control you.